Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla is busy rolling out Firefox version 121, which is the final version upgrade for this year, 2023, which they rolled out maybe an hour ago earlier today on the 19th of December, 2023. Now version 121 includes five new features. We also get the security fixes that roll out with every major version upgrade. And then as normal, we get enterprise and developer treatments taking place under the hood, which I don't think your average home user would find that much of interest. Now, first of all, focusing on the five new features. The first is now Firefox prompts Windows users to install the Microsoft AV1 video extension to enable hardware decoding support for the AV1 video codec if you haven't already installed the AV1 video extension on your Windows device. Now, just on a side note, if you'd like to double check in the browser, if that extension is, is installed already or not. It's quite simple to check. So we just head up to our address bar and we just enter about colon support. So that's about colon support. And on the support page, we just scroll down a little bit to the media section. So we're looking for media. There we go. So there's our media section. And here we've got codec name, AV1 hardware decoding and you can see it's supported on my uh, device because I've already installed the AV1 video extension. Now if you haven't, instead of seeing supported, you'll have a link here that you can click on which will take you directly over to the Microsoft Store where you can download the extension to your Windows device. And if you're unaware what this extension does, basically it helps video apps installed on Windows play videos that have been encoded using the AV1 video coding standard. So. That's what that feature is all about. So the browser will now prompt you to install that extension if it hasn't done so already. Then the a second new feature is for Mac OS systems where the browser now supports voice control commands on Mac OS. So just to give you some examples, you can say scroll down or click down to get the computer to basically um, execute that voice command. And if you want more info regarding those voice commands, um, you can head over to the Apple support page where you can get some more info if you would be interested if you are running Mac OS. Then the next new feature is for Linux users. So Firefox now defaults, defaults to the Wayland compositor when available instead of X Wayland. So Mozilla says this now brings support for touchpad and touchscreen gestures, swipe to nav, per monitor DPR settings, better graphics performance and more. But just take note, they do say though that due to Wayland protocol limitations, picture-in-picture, -picture, which is PIP windows, require an extra user interaction. Generally, um, you have to then right-click on the window. So um, Firefox on Linux now defaults to the Wayland compositor. Then the next uh, is that Firefox can now force links to always be underlined, which I actually think is a nice move. And for this, we're going to head over to settings, the general page. And yeah, we're looking for the browsing section. So we scroll down just a little bit once again. And yeah, we go browsing. And yeah, we get the setting. Always underline links. So if we toggle that on, you can see these two links now are underlined. And if I toggle that off, you can see that disappears. And you get the idea. Always underline links. And I actually think that's a nice move with version 121. Or just one of those little small subtle changes that could make... A bit of a difference in the long run. And then the final and fifth new feature rolling out in version 121. And for this one, I'm just going to cut to the chase and head to a screenshot provided from the release notes. Uh, the PDF viewer now includes a floating button to simplify deleting drawings, text, and images added in PDF. So if you are using the PDF viewer, that may be a nice move in the right direction, as I would say. Now, because we are dealing with security issues, as always, to double check that we have this update, we head to our main menu, Help, About Firefox, Latest Version and Build 121.0. Now, to get to the security fixes, as always, we click on What's New. And in the release notes, we head to the security fixes. And here we get quite a couple of security fixes that have rolled out with version 121. Now, in total, there are 18. So um, that's a little bit more than last month. And out of the 18 security fixes that have rolled out to patch those security vulnerabilities in the browser, we get five high impact, which is the level just below critical. So high, high impact is your second highest vulnerability. So 
as I always say, um, just double check your browser's up to date. Even if you're not interested in any new improvements or changes, um, it will just keep you safe and secure while you are doing your browsing online. So 18 security fixes have rolled out in total. Five of those high impact. And guys, that's more or less what's new in this final version upgrade of Firefox for this year, 2023, version 121. And if you are interested, version 122 will roll out next year on the 23rd of January, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.